Welcome to Bytes of Code. In this video, we are going to start our path onto building a mobile application. This is going to be using React Native. And what makes that so special is that it gives us the ability to make our app but also run it on Android, iOS, and even we can deploy our app as a web application as well. This is using React Native, specifically the framework Expo. That's what we're gonna be doing. So this is gonna be a first time getting started from, from ground zero, starting up to what do we need to do in order to start building this app. And the first thing we need to do is actually download Node.js. Uh, so we can do that by just going to uh, nodejs.org slash download or nodejs.org. You can find the download button. I would recommend just the recommended for most users download. Um, there is a current latest features, uh, but generally there is going to be some more, a little bit more support and documentation uh, in the community about the most users version. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And run this uh, in this case this is a Windows installer now the relationship between node.js and react native or even expo is that node.js gives us the npm node packet manager it's kind of the tunnel that allows us to install packages into react native and the relationship between react native and expo is that react native is a framework but also expo is a framework built on that framework. It's similar to uh, Next.js, we can say. Expo gives us some, some routing and some different abilities that traditionally maybe React Native would be a little more difficult to accomplish. So once we accept the terms, we pick where we would like it to be downloaded to and the components that we want to download. I'm keeping everything just default. Whatever it has, it, it's going to download and just continuing to kind of click Next throughout the setup wizard. All right, now that the Node.js is finished, we're going to go ahead and go right into Visual Studio Code. And in here, we are going to run a terminal function or command. Now that we have the ability to use Node.js, we have the ability to use Node Packet Manager and Node Packet Executables. Let's first double check that we actually have our node downloaded. So node-v, and we see that is our new Node.js downloaded version and installed. So Node.js is installed. Let's go back actually to the Expo documentation where we see a quick start on how to create an app. We're just going to copy that and paste that. That is npx space create Expo app and space the name of your app. We will name this app BOC testing byte of code testing press enter and there's a little bit of an issue when creating uh, this app we check the node version so we know node.js is installed properly uh, we see this error here with the path uh, after a cache verify just kind of little diagnostic things we're doing right now but the answer if you're getting this error is i needed to do a mkdir make the directory of the actual path that it was looking for and it just it wasn't existing so once i made the directory let's go ahead now and try this npx create expo boc testing now the expo is starting to install and we're actually going to initialize our first expo application so we'll just give this a minute to finish its installation and then we'll see what we need to do after the expo is done installing we actually have our project that is ready next thing we need to do is it gives us a list of commands go into the boc underscore testing folder this is actually now our full application in react native expo router and we run android if you want to run the iOS, just make sure that you're doing this with a Mac OS or some op, uh, Apple operating system because you cannot run iOS development without a Mac. But we can also do an NPM run web. That's actually the one that we're going to do. So let's first go into CD BOC underscore testing and then let's NPM run web.
we're getting a firewall issue just going to go ahead and allow access even after we fix the firewall issue let's now run this it's telling us to install these components react native web react dom and webpack webpack config so let's react let's install those with npx that's using node.js again after we install that we're going to try again by using npm run web we see that it's starting the metro bundler but also we're getting some new folders here we're getting the .expo folder and we're also getting some node modules so definitely this is starting to build that project to get it ready to present on the web and now what we have is a barcode so this is actually the signs that the expo has started your project uh, what you can do is you can download the application on iOS this is Expo Go and really what you're looking for here is the ability to scan a barcode uh, if you're using Android you can download just Expo in here there is an option to scan the QR code and this would be the QR code that you scan once you scan this QR code you will see your application on your phone in this case we open it up on the web I've moved these side by side so we can see that the web actually reflects the code that we change. So if we were to open up our app.js, that is inside of our new React app, let's change the text to, this is testing with bytes of code. Two exclamation marks. When we save this, it will actually refresh the page and we will see this is testing with bytes of code. At this point, we have our React Native app. We actually have the template, the start of a mobile application that we can submit to the uh, Apple iOS store or the Google Play store. A lot of the tutorials from here on out will be really focusing on using this React Native Expo router. So if you enjoy this tutorial and you want to see more on how to build your own mobile application on all these different platforms, please drop a like and subscribe to this video. And I hope to see you at the next video.